what's up cadre sunday morning now i know back to back videos christmas is coming early this is my black friday special the week before a little coffee i'm guessing this video might be a little bit longer than usual because i've got i'm not prepared i've got stuff to prepare i got things to take care of first i'm having uh, my breakfast dessert got a little muffin here from Dave in Kentucky, you dog. Thank you. I'm assuming it's from his wife. Don't miss it, Dave in Kentucky. I don't, we don't hear that she watches our videos. She probably doesn't know that she's famous worldwide at this point for making everybody jealous of the baked goods that Dave gets to eat on a all too regular basis. But that's it. This time, he didn't just send me just muffins. I mean, I get a weekly shipment from him, uh, so that's pretty cool. But uh, what he did do, he's trying to enable me, is uh, there's talk about, uh, I'm going to keep my face wet here, the, the Game Changer uh, Razor. I think we got some new folks on the Shaving Cadre, um, and somebody resurrected an old thread about the game changer versus the Rockwell 6S. Um, I have the 6S. Um, it's an awesome razor. That's usually my go-to for traveling because I know it'll work no matter what what the conditions are, you know, um, uh, water that makes your lather not the best, all that stuff. I have that out on loan right now. Um, but some people prefer the game changer, it seems. Um, and so the thread came back around and the, of course people are singing the praises of the game changer. I thought, all right, maybe, maybe one day I should try it. Um, here, I'm gonna, I'll start getting some stuff done here while we're yapping. So I got my Sapontificio Veracino brush. Um, I normally only think of pulling it out when I'm using an SV soap. Um, but I've said I need to pull it out at other times because it is just, that is a way cool brush, right? Pewter around the edge here. A, uh, let me see if I can remember everything. It's a badger. It's a badger. Um, I'm just, I see a little sud, so I got a little soap left. Um, it's a high, what is it? White, shoot. All the little names that go with naming this knot. Cause it's a high mountain, white Manchurian badger. Anyway. Um, and we're going to be using Oleo Soap Works Empire. Um, so I use my, my lather bowl for soaking the brush because it's a pretty big, heavy brush. So I can't use my smaller bowl for that. So I'm, gonna, I'm using my gelato spoon and I'm going to scrape up. This is a fairly hard soap, so I don't just scoop it. I got to scrape the top and get a little... There you go. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna use. Um, and now I'm forgetting what I was. Oh, they yeah, the the game changer. So there was a pass around back in the day. Oh, not back in the day. Last year, I think. Um, I forget who was passing it around. I want to say Gear, but I think he's just known for using the game changer constantly. I don't know that he would give his up because it's a daily driver for him anyway I didn't do the pass around because I think at that point I already had the 6s and I did not want to find out that I wanted another razor so an easy way to do that is stick your head in the sand and so it came back around and it's been a while since I bought anything shaving related except for soap but that doesn't count soap don't count you use that up it goes away right uh, so I just made mention of the fact that uh, take brush to bowl uh, that someday maybe I'll have to try it because like uh, the vector I was I was sold on my uh, single edged Asylum RX as the best single edge out there then people got the Black Lands Vector Razor Everybody thought it was the bee's knees. Um, I didn't want to be torn away from my RX, 
But when they were talking about better shave quality, it's my face. This baby deserves the best. So, tried it, bought it, worth it. Um, so I thought we'll see. I love the I love this Rockwell 6S, but if this can provide a better consistent shave, then as they say, who am I to disagree? So we'll see. Um, I noticed, and here goes the memory again. I was thinking I needed to read my uh, private messages with Dave when he said he was gonna send this out to me to see, I, I'm pretty sure he told me what gap um, plate he sent. It's not, it's not on the plate, which seemed really odd that um, he sent a uh, straight bar and an open cone plate. Um, if I remember correctly, I thought that the uh, Game Changers had a uh, two different blade gaps you can get with the solid plate. And this doesn't say what it is. You would think they would label such a thing on the plate itself so you would know. That's all right, but I'm going with the uh, the straight bar, as of the open combs I've tried, have been a little bit too aggressive. I'll try it on this um, because I know it's not all razors are built the same. Um, but I'm just thinking uh, for best best results, first go out. Uh, well, hold on before we get because once I get soap on my face, let me show you. This is what he sent. And that's pretty cool with the base, actually. He sent um, two handles. The other one's got some better knurling roughness on it for grip, but this one looks cool. It doesn't really help with the grip, I don't think, but you can feel these etched in lines while you hold it, so I like, I like this one better. Oh, and Dave said, hey, I got plenty of razors. If you like it, just keep it. So that's cool, Dave. Thanks. Is he is he screaming at the screen yet? I did not say that. Mm. So this Oleo soap work, this one uh, Empire. I'm sure, if I looked it up again, I think it's based off of some uh, men's scent, cologne scent, perfume scent, what have you. Uh, it's got that kind of little bit sweet cologne Adventist type knockoff uh, scent to it. Oh, I like it. We went uh, going out to dinner last night out of town and uh, left a little early just to do some looking around at stores in that area and end up finding a supercharger for the car. So at the mall. So we decided two burns, one stone, we'll get some free gas and look around. We ended up going into a store with a pretty big Tom Ford um, section in their, in their scents, their perfumes and what have you. Man, I love Tom Ford. I only have one. I found like three more just that time around I would like. There's something about the way that he does his scents. I think I could pretty much have the whole line in one day or another. Hold on, we got a little, gotta clear the gullet of the, the muffin residue. a way to start your Sunday, huh? I got to, uh, gotta force myself to go get a haircut this morning. I just don't, I don't like the whole process. I don't like having to drive there and having to sit there and somebody that's, I just don't like it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to pay attention to this darn razor now. That's pretty good. I like the weight. I wouldn't say it's the heaviest, but it certainly is not light. I do not particularly care for light razors. I like, I like to feel substantial. This is super, all right. See, this is what I was worried about, Dave. This is pretty good. Just right off the, the first few strokes, but we've seen this before with razors. You get a great shave the first few passes. And then like the next day it's an issue, 
with the second shave or the third pass. Or, but um, very minimal to no blade feel. Oh, it's there. It's very minimal. Very smooth. All right, that was an awesome first pass. No irritation at all on the neck. You tell it that was super quick too. Piece of cake. Um, let's see. I don't. I do not judge efficiency until after the second pass because no matter the razor, you rinse and you still feel all the stubble in the other directions. We'll see here. Although, I don't know if it's a muffin effect, like the whole experience, right? And then I shave without a muffin and I'm just let down. How's this lather, boys? I know, yesterday's lather, terrible. Terrible. This is a little bit more creamy. And it's, you know, you could go for, so I could do like this. Look at that. What is that? Um, Oh, I'm forgetting his name now. I used to watch him live all the time. And uh, I just watched him live, I think yesterday. Oh, that's bothering me. YouTuber dude. He just does live. Great guy. Broncos fans, you gotta love that. But he's got the, he's got the, I think it's a goatee, not just the beard. But the beard goes down like that. The beard part of the goatee, down like that cool what's it shoot anyway he always describes his lather it melted a thick creamy melted ice cream that's what we got going on here all right pretty good pretty good now see i do it like i said i don't have my 6s with me. So I'd be curious. This just, I don't know. My first thought is, is it, see that weeper down there? I've been hitting, getting that weeper. I don't know what happened. It's because I've been shooting videos the last three days that I'm still getting that weeper. Same spot though. So something I think there is what, I forget what I used. Did it on a video that I just had a gosh awful shave with really irritated the bejesus out of my neck. I think it's been a weeper there ever since, pretty much. And the skin's like, dude, give us a break, can you? Can you stop? Can you stop scraping razor blades against us till we heal up? All right, let's check out this. All right, that's pretty good. Um, you know what I forgot? Just to round up my alum for yesterday, from yesterday. If you re, if you recall yesterday's video, I guess I'm expecting you all to watch and keep up with the videos. In shooting my video for my travel kit, things got taken out of the den. And one of the things that was not replaced was the alum block. I gotta, I'm gonna, after the third pass, I'm gonna go run out and get it because I'm very curious to see if any of this area is lit up after using this razor. Because I'm feeling kind of similarities with the vector in that it feels like you don't have to think too much about it. And you're not gonna be getting any irritation shaving with this one. Um, it is not as efficient as the Vector, which is not a fair comparison. Vector and RX and yada yada using the Artist Club style single edge razor blades. This bad boy, if we're doing this bad boy against this one. That's interesting. You always thought Artist Club blades were a lot wider. They're a little bit, just a little bit wider, not a lot wider. Just because they're, they're very skinny, very skinny and long. They look long, they look longer. 
anyway, um, after the second pass, I had very good whisker reduction. This is what we're talking about. Uh, it was not BBS yet, which is fine. Um, I'm not going to knock a razor for not getting a two pass BBS shave. For me, that's, I think the only one that can do that is the vector. Um, because you got hairs that grow in every direction. So I'm just saying it's not as magical per se. I don't think anybody would expect you to be able to. There might be DE razors that are better than some SE razors. Uh, but I, I, I would never believe that even your best DE can give you as good of a shave as your best SE. Yeah, prove me wrong. That's all right. All right, so here, we'll do the rinse. So pretty, pretty good. Cheeks, as expected, are pretty good. Um, neck, this is gonna be dry down, BBS. Um, got a little bit of very fine sandpaper feel here that'll go away with the dry down, so it's going to be BBS. But to make the dolphin scream, it's got to be super smooth everywhere. We're pretty, I mean, it's dang close. Um, I'm not, the 6S would be the same. Um, so I'm very curious. Since Dave's a pal and a swell guy, we'll see how long I keep this thing. I'd be maybe curious to do some back-to-back -back shaves with the uh, Game Changer and the 6S. I'm not curious about the weight too because I'm just going off a of memory here. The 6S, I was going to say, that I think the 6S is heavier. Maybe it's just a little bit shorter. I don't know. And maybe it's just that it's fun to use a different razor. Um, it's good performing and it might be equal to the 6S. Anyway, I'm going to babble when I come back. So hold on. We're back. This is funny. All I had to do was go right here. I had to, for filming the video, I got this new one. I think this is the one that uh, Major Rich gave me. Uh, last Christmas for our shaving cadre secret Santa um, and jeez, uh, take it easy and uh, so I moved my half used one into my shave kit and this box is interesting though it's tougher to it's a booger to open um, so this is brand spake and new I like them when they're not brand new, right? You get a little bit of the roughness off the... Oh, this is not bad. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Lit up down there a bit. A bit. So I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's... Uh, in sheep's clothing, maybe it feels like it's been uh, super mild. Because I have been shaving, you know, since I boogered up my neck, I have been, I've been shaving with the Vector almost every day and it has not been a problem. So, And I don't think that I wasn't paying attention and not worrying about my pressure and stuff, as can easily be the case when doing a video. I'm just rinsing, I'm rinsing out my bowl and my brush right now. I try to show you, but see how I lift up this far and it starts slopping all over. So. That's right, what I probably need a second camera just so you can watch the cleanup process. Not that that'd be any fun, but probably better than looking at the top of my head. I'm getting a lot of the scent off of this too. This is a good smelling soap. Mm. If you're if you're wanting that kind of a scent, this is a good one. And I love, you saw the lather. I like the Oblig Hope Soap Works stuff. All right, rinse off the face.
Yeah, that, uh, let's see, it's a little bit more irritated looking. You know what'll fix that? Some Thayer's Lemon, brought to you by Thayer's. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, I like the looks of the razor. I like the feel while you're shaving. Um, I'm curious to find out what plate it is. Knowing Dave is probably the more aggressive one. He, he says he doesn't like aggressive razors, but he likes the bigger blade gaps. Um, we're gonna finish up with some two and one here in a second. Um, but, uh, but I can't, like I said, normally I'd say, well, Jesus has been irritated, so it's not fair to base it just judged on that. Maybe we've got an ingrown right there that I keep digging. There's a little raised area. Anyway. Uh, the, the thing is, I've been shaving with the vector, and it's been okay. So, yeah, maybe this is a little pre-irritated, but the vector can handle it. Anyway. I'll look up the blade gap. I don't think I'm going to switch over to try to open comb until this is a little bit more under control. But um, like I said, it is a it is a cool looking razor. I like that. I like that handle a lot. So thanks for that, Dave. Uh, wish me luck. Um, gotta go get the haircut. I'll see you on the forums.